the worst thing that I find in in the general purpose AIs is that if you go in there and I say like, can you make a, a replica of Rob Lacasio? Because I want to talk to him about being an entrepreneur. So I built this company, you know, twenty the, my previous company, and it's a lot of stuff written about that. It'll it'll say, well, yeah, I can, and it'll create me, mm-hmm. and it'll if now it does a little caveat like, hey, this is a replica. It's not quite him, you know. It's kind of like. <laughs> but the bottom line is I start asking it questions and it will answer them. And the reality is like it, the answers are so ridiculous because they're not what I would say. But if you didn't know me and you didn't have access to talk to me, you may say, well, it probably took all these interviews of this guy and it probably knows a lot about him because the AI is like great, but mm-hmm. it lies and it makes yeah. up stuff. And so I see a world where, okay, you want to talk to Rob Ocasio or Vit, go to their AIs. Like you should talk, they're authenticated. It's them, you know, it's them and it is who they are, but you don't have to, but this idea that I'm going to put all my knowledge into chat, they're never going to get all my knowledge. I'm, and now, you know, sites are being very careful about letting crawlers get onto their websites. You know, mm-hmm. people know the value of their data. So it's going to get, it's going to, it's going to be a depreciating asset, those models. So yeah, yeah. that's their biggest threat. 